Good morning, my loves. I have been trying to film the intro for this video for over a week. Christian and I literally just woke up. He's in his swing. You can't see him. I don't know if you could see the swing swinging. It's right there. My breakfast is cooking on the stove and I just decided to get it done in my pajamas. Hair is a mess from, oh, that doesn't look so bad. I was gonna say it's a mess from sleeping on it, but it kind of stayed pretty good. Anyway, I was gifted about six items from Love Mia. Luva Mia, I think it's Love Mia. I'm not sure. I'll put the name of the Amazon store there. They wanted me to do a try on haul. So I figured I would do a try on haul a little bit different. I got in touch with my creative side. And what I did was I took six separate pieces and I used them to create looks every day of the week. So I wore a different outfit every day of the week with these six pieces doing a summer to fall transitional look each day. I thought it was a fun spin rather than just sitting in front of the mirror and doing a try on haul. Totally tested my creative side. I do not fit in any of my clothing I wore before pregnancy. So I'm working with my postpartum body. I'm working with just very limited pieces and I'm trying to be really confident in the skin that I'm in right now. And I'm hoping that it came across in these outfits in this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Please always give this a thumbs up. So without wasting any more time, here is the trial. So today is day number one of my fall transitional new mom, mom bod outfit. It's still pretty warm here. So I just have on a sports bra. This is actually a nursing bra. <laughs> Some maternity leggings, no hate, no shame. This is my favorite piece of this whole entire haul. It is this big oversized cardigan, so you can kind of throw it off your shoulder. I have some slides on because I'm just working around the house. I have family coming over this weekend. They're coming in from out of town. So I'm just cleaning the house, getting everything squared away. I have on this baseball cap to hide the grays, but I think it kind of adds a fun fall feel to this outfit. If I was gonna go out and I still wanted to wear this and look cute, I could put on some sneakers or I would put on some boots and I'll show you guys. But this would also look really cute with like the Doc Martin trend. I was in high school when Doc Martens first came out, so I just can't bring myself to do them. <laughs> I think this would look really cute. And also you could wear full length leggings. That would be really cute. You could wear black jeans. You could wear any jeans. This thing is amazing. It has a hood. It's so soft, by the way. They also have this in a white and a light beige check that I think I'm gonna get because I just love this. I did get a size large and I'm really short. I got everything in a large because postpartum body, but I would probably size down in this. It's kind of huge. What you could also do with this jacket is you could kind of make it like a wrap dress. You could cross it over. You could add a belt. It's kind of short, but I would totally do this. Like I wear my dresses that short because I'm short and I'm stocky in my legs. I think this would be such a cute little wrap dress with a big leather belt that ties right here. That would be so super cute. You could dress this up. Oh my God, I love that. All right, let me change my shoes because these are just killing the whole vibe. So you could add a boot to make this fun. Adam just called, he's on his way home. So maybe we'll go grab all you could eat sushi. I feel like this is the perfect outfit for that because all you could eat sushi on a Thursday night is completely casual. We could take a little man. I would just be warm in there because I always freeze in the AC anyway. Great early fall transition piece. But you could also throw on some leather leggings like the Spanx high-waisted le le leather <laughs> leggings. I couldn't get that out. And a sports bra, or if you're not into that, a tank top. I could wear this off the shoulder when it's still warm. You could wear it closed with a belt. You could put on some heels with this. Ugh, I'm in love with this. We are back with outfit number two. This was for the Sunday of Labor Day weekend. My sister her husband and my niece were here visiting from New Jersey and we were going to dinner on the strip at the Bellagio. So it wasn't a fancy place, but I wanted to kind of dress up casual. So I went with these denim shorts, which are great because they are kind of looser fit on the side. There is an opening and there's some fray on the bottom. You could see that this shirt is a little dressier casual and it's longer in the back. So it just kind of flattered my figure right now that I brought my mom bag that I got in the Oh Baby boxes third trimester. So I put all baby stuff in there because we're a half an hour away from the strip and I didn't want to bring a backpack diaper bag with me. You could also see that this shirt ties in the front. It's longer in the back. You could see that the slit on the sides again, it's looser. So it will make my legs look thinner. This shirt is buttoned down and it's a V-neck. It's a little bit looser. 
here. So it is breastfeeding friendly, which is amazing right now. I just paired it with a pair of white heels with a square toe to dress up shorts and, and to try to elongate and flatter my legs a little bit. I appreciated the way that my butt looks in these jeans because of the size of the pockets and the placement of the pockets. I just felt really comfortable and confident you know, they have a couple of little rips in the shorts, not anything aggressive, but just kind of a laid back, casual, flattering look to them. The buttons again down the front, great for breastfeeding. I have a nursing bra under there, you cannot even tell. So if CJ got hungry, I could nurse him in the car, stopped obviously. I could put a throw cover over the top of me and just move on. You could see I really love the stretch in these shorts. I got them in a size large, so they go over the belly button. They're a little bit of a lower rise than I would like, but it's okay because the shirt is looser, flowy, and it covers them. But you could pull them up. You can make them a little bit of a higher rise. You can get them closer to the belly button. I don't see any mob pooch flowing over. There's a lot of stretch, a ton of stretch in them, as you could see. So they are more flattering. Really like this look. So I was not going to... <laughs> film of an outfit today. The lighting in here is terrible because I was not set up and ready to go. I was just editing. What's up, buddy? I was just editing a video all day and I was going to cook chicken and salad for dinner. I was gonna make a grilled chicken salad, but Adam just called. He's on his way home. He had to do a presentation at one of the local colleges today. So I threw on this dress, just like a little denim dress. I always put shorts under my dresses right now. This is like an early fall transition piece. I still have sandals on. I've worn this with sneakers because this dress has long sleeves. So that's a cute one or booties would be cute. I always bring a spot with me I can't wear obviously can't wear a denim jacket which is usually my go-to so tonight we're doing this adorable sweater I love that it has pockets it has slits on the side little man needs a diaper change he's getting a little cranky so I'm gonna go but there is outfit number three just a little denim dress with this comfortable oversized cardigan you wear so many different ways Okay, new day, new outfit. It's a little bit chillier today and I am absolutely obsessed with the fact that shorts with tights is back in style now. This was so in style when I was in high school, so I'm loving that it's back. I just did black denim shorts with a belt, a tank top tucked in, just kind of like a silk one that I had, and this sweater, but you could always pull this off the shoulder. My bra is not really the best for this. I did it with a pair of Ugg style boots that I had because I don't have Doc Martens, but I think Doc Martens would be really cute with this. Or I might go with a flat, like a slide. We're gonna try that too. Or you could do this with a sneaker. You could do this with a band tee. You could do this look with so many different things. I'm just loving that this look is back and it's a thing because first of all, I think it's adorable. And second of all, it hides cellulite going on from my mom body. And that's totally fine. It's hormones, it's my genetics, it's everything. I was going to flat iron my hair today. I dyed it. You could see I also dyed my forehead. You could see I dye all over my forehead, but I'm kind of weirdly liking the frizzy look. Okay, today it's a beautiful early fall day, so it's still kind of warm, but chilly enough to put on this light sweater, long sleeves, a belt, shorts, and some slides so my toes are covered and it's appropriate for fall, but it's still okay for the weather. I am absolutely loving this. I am so comfortable. These shorts are so stretchy. They're super flattering, the way that they're cut, the way that the pockets are in the back. I don't know if you could see that. They just have a little bit of a rip to them. Actually kind of on the longer side. They're not too short. They're not too tight. I got a size large because I wanted the room. I'm just about to get little man dressed. We're picking up a family member from the airport. We'll probably do late lunch, early dinner. This is totally appropriate and cute for an outdoor cafe or I'll be fine inside too. And then I made my Teddy Blake crossbody bag into a fanny pack. I did a whole tutorial on how to do this on the video that I posted about tips to be not frumpy postpartum. And I just absolutely love this look. I think it is so chic. It's so fall. It's hands-free. It's very practical for a new mom who has everything in a diaper bag that isn't always accessible. It was just a really comfortable dressed up casual look that I did not feel frumpy. I didn't feel like I was just running around in sweatpants and I felt really good about myself. I felt like a mom that has it all together, which I'm not. Hey, you wanna smile? Do you wanna smile? 
Okay, the lighting in here is absolutely atrocious. Adam's cousin is in from out of town, so we are gonna do dinner tonight at my house. She was so sweet, she just wanted to make it easy for me. We're gonna do steaks at the house, Adam's gonna grill. I am on my way to either Trader Joe's or the grocery store to get, Trader Joe's is a grocery store, Trader Joe's or Whole Foods to get some goodies. It's warm enough here in Las Vegas to wear open-toed shoes. Do not judge my pedicure. New mom life, I've had it since before the baby was born. He is two months old as of yesterday. I'm just wearing athleisure, high-waisted workout leggings that I got at Costco. They're the Tough brand, T-U-F-F. -F. Little t-shirt knotted in the front and it's cool enough to need a sweater. So I'm wearing this sweater jacket. It's hooded. I absolutely love this. I'm I'm wearing it again. I wore it with shorts and a sports bra in the house the other day. What I love about this outfit are these necklaces. This top necklace is my one and only Instagram made me do it. I bought it off of Instagram. And then that's all one necklace. I bought it for my best friend because she loves moons and stars. So I got it for her for her birthday. I got myself one so we could have matching necklaces. It's called the Karma necklace or something like that. I just washed it with baking soda and water the other day, but it still looks a little tarnished to me. And then this one I layered with it is, oops backwards but Adam started a Pandora necklace for me when he got home and he gets me charms for different things when I first found out I was pregnant he got me the mom one which I loved speaking of CJ is behind me he's just waking up we are going to get him dressed here we are with the very last outfit the night before I filmed this, I tried to put together a couple of outfits around this blazer and the ones that I did, I hated. I just thought that I looked very frumpy. I still looked pregnant in one of them. I looked like I aged myself by probably 20 or 30 years in the other one with the long jeans. So the next morning when I woke up, I was looking through Pinterest and I, or maybe Instagram, who cares? Don't remember. But I saw this outfit that was very similar to this. And I was like, oh, I love that. I'm going to recreate it. When I put on the high boots, I couldn't decide if I wanted to wear them over the knee or slouchy. I couldn't decide what I liked better. So you let me know in the comments, which one you like better. This is how I do it. I always do one on one really pretty double breasted blazer with this kind of equestrian look to it with those buttons down the front, a white tank top, those same shorts from the other day, these over the knee boots that are from Amazon. They were $19, you guys, 19 inspired by the, what do you call that brand? Good night moon brand. So I will link them below. And that is the outfit back to just woke up morning row thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already subscribed look back on the channel for other videos with me i love you guys so much so does the little man swimming over there in his swing and i will see you guys in the next one Mwah.